Hi there, it's Patmos, and welcome to the next episode of our Ostriv game, where we are building a 18th century village in the Ukraine, I believe. And, well, we've progressed quite a bit in the last episode. We've got like seven houses done, which means we have seven more families living here, well, six right now. We got our first farm, which is actually producing goods, which is good. Problem is, right now we don't have enough jobs available, so no one will come to our city. But that's easily solvable, because we still have open spots for people to join us. And now we have plenty of jobs available, and they can come and join. One of the next things that will happen is, once the ripening is done, they will start to harvest. And we can use quite a few extra people with that. So I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to take a few people out of the building crew because I want them to start helping so I'm going to do it like this because they need to be hired as laborers in order to get all the crops off the fields otherwise when winter starts you will lose the crops that are still on the field which is a problem, we don't want that because that's just a waste of goods Oh, they're also building the town hall, which is really good. Not all the goods are there, but they will be in due time. And with speed 3, things look very good. The ripening is almost done. You can see, once it's full, they will start the harvest. Yep, there we go. Perfect, and they can hire a few laborers, which is good. That will mean that they will be able to harvest rather quickly. After that we also need workers in the windmill to make the flour we need so that we can sell it. We still have a little stockpile which is good. We can do with that for a while. I believe that if you calculate stuff the one adult in this game consumes a hundred pieces of food. It doesn't really matter which ones. Well, they want a variety of foods, of course, because that's healthy, but it doesn't really matter. So right now we have 35 adults, so we need th um, 3,500 pieces of food to get through a year. And, well, they will be producing quite a bit, as you can see here. They're already putting it in the mill as well, which is good. They're already making flour out of it. But as you can see, well, we have a good harvest. So yeah, we produce plenty of food. Of course, we will need more farms. And we will get more farms. But for now, this is fine. We can always import some. So this is good. And well, not too many laborers free now, there are a few guys resting as soon as yeah, they're done resting then they'll come back they'll be hired again, they'll make some money so this is all good harvest is going pretty quickly, then they will switch to the next field oh, they already started, perfect well, we already have 1400 weed in, so that's a good start that's food for half a year well, almost and there's more incoming. And it's only the end of August, so they have plenty of time to bring it all in. Usually, summer in November the snow starts and they have until that time. But, well, when you get bigger and you have like four or five farms and, well, just enough people, then to empty out all the farms can be quite a tough job. So, I'm going to slow down a bit. We have a visitor. And, well... Although they have interesting stuff, I'm not going to buy anything. And we're surely not going to sell anything, because we need everything we have. So this guy can pass. No problem there. Now what I want to talk about is the town hall. We now have a town hall, so the big main tent there is gone. They switched to this building. And right now we can manage our economy, which is very good. Here you can see how many stuff you have, what you produced, what you spent, etc. Here you can see your balance, but we can now also work with the wages and the rent, etc. And the thing with this game is, people make money, 
by doing jobs. They spend it on village rent and on market products. And that's basically it. And if you want to make money, you need quite a few villagers that have to buy a lot of stuff to actually make money. So what you want to do is keep your economy as small as you can. And that's not small in numbers of goods you produce, but as small as you can in money, or money-wise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the basic monthly wage. Now, of course, if you lower that, you end up with people that don't have enough money to pay for everything. But we can also deal with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set everything really low, but also the market price is really low. I'm going to lower the rent. Now, this way, they don't make too much money, but they don't have to spend much either. And even if you run a slight deficit then, that's not a big, big deal, because you will run like a deficit of 20 per year. And if you produce enough goods and you sell some, then you can easily make a profit. And that's what you want. You want to make a profit. And the higher their salary is, the harder it will be to run a profit. So I like to do it this way. They make a very minimal income, but everything is very cheap, so they don't feel it in their wallet. They can still buy everything. And what you don't want is, like for instance, we have a household here with a wealth of 70 gold coins. Once everyone, when, when everyone dies, that money just disappears. It's not like you get it into your village uh, treasury. So you don't want the people to accumulate too much money. So right now here, they have 112 gold coins that will just disappear later on. So what you want to do is make sure you keep the money for buying stuff, etc. And you don't want it to go to the people. Of course, you want them to have a healthy, prosperous lives, but they can because everything is very cheap. Well, we made plenty of grain. We are producing quite a bit of buckwheat, which is also very good. So what I'm going to do is build another market stall put it somewhere here so they don't have to walk that far anymore. There it is. Buckwheat, flour. We still have a bit of salo left so we can sell that flour. Should probably sell some firewood as well. Let's hire a laborer which probably will be a woman. Yes, apply to all. So now this one also only hires women. And then once these guys are done here they will switch to nice job for instance in the marketplace here yeah, there she is she will collect the goods and they can start to work well more and more houses are being built which is splendid and with this harvest it's already 3500 so we produced enough food to feed all these people for over a year and that's great so we don't have to import a lot. So as you can see right here, if you check it, they have quite a few different products, so we might need to build an extra farm soon and get working on uh, other goods like sunflower oil, etc. But for now, at least we can survive the years. As long as we don't grow too fast, because then we have a problem. But we can always trade, so we'll do fine. Well, they've planted all the trees right here. So you can see very small trees, but they will grow over the years and then they will be able to chop them down as well. They don't have to grow as big as these, so that's a good thing. New family settling in town. Two people with a kit, which is good. I like it very much if they have kids. It means they will grow up one day and you can use them in your village. I'm going to start speed three again. No housing available, but they're trying to build houses, so that's a good thing. We'll get some extra builders as soon as we can, and then we'll see. They can finish those houses rather quickly. Yep, she's stockpiling, so she can sell stuff, which is really good. Still plenty in stock. Selling good. So we should probably start to think about, well, for instance, another farm or something, and start need to think about where we want to do that. 
might be a good thing to get like one field, two field. Well, yeah. All right, let me see. One for Merefa. Chickens, hennep, wheat, honey. Well, this is all interesting, but I don't want to buy anything. Uh, we're not going to sell anything uh, as well, because, well, we don't need the money yet. I want to save that. And I think one of the next things could be... No, will be... A cow shed. We will start to produce a few cows. Build it right here. Let me see. Yeah, somewhere like here, right here. Ooh, that's a bit too much. Yeah. Alright. Why a cow shed? Well, if we buy a few cows, they will produce milk. If you get a bull with that, they will start to reproduce, which is good. You get extra uh, cows for milk. And you can also get bulls and turn them into oxes, and they can, for instance, uh, carry the plow. So you can plow your fields, which is good for the nutrition. And so if you get them, they're, they're a really good source of uh, food. And every now and then you can just put one to slaughter, so you can get meat from it. So there's a lot of benefits to having a cow shed. Now cows are pretty expensive, but in the long run, that's all fine. One of the other things we need then is hay, because, well, we need to feed our cows. So what I'm going to do is we're going to build a few of these hay stacks, or hay pile dryers. Here they will dry the hay, and once it's dried, they will stack it up. So we also need to build hay stacks, where they can pick up the hay. Well, we'll build them right here, that's fine. And then when it's mowing season, people will come, they will mow some grass, put it on, they will dry it, turn it into hay, put it in a stockpile, and then, for instance, people from the cow shed can get the hay to feed the cows, which is good. More houses are being built, but there are no jobs available, which is interesting. You would think we sh would have plenty of jobs, so yeah. Come. Fill in all the openings. And I think we need to start working on more houses. So we really need a lot more houses. And I'm thinking about just building them right here, why not? So yeah, let's continue right here. Keep a walking path there. And for water, for instance. So yeah, let's start right here. One, two. Five houses. Well. In the beginning of the game, I'd like to use these blocks of houses. Later on, we might switch to more fun shapes or anything, but in the beginning, it's just like efficiency. We want those houses done, we want people to go to work there, and that's about it. Well, they've built a well, so there's two wells right here, which is good. They're now building the cow shed. After that, we need to find cows, of course. Put two wells right there. Put them somewhere in the middle. Alright, interesting. I think we're doing okay. 62 people living right now. 45 adults. We had 35 when we started this episode, so that's good. Cow shed being built. We have plenty of stuff. Everything's coming in smoothly. So we have all we need. And one of the good things with this cow shed, I was talking about that, is you can use the fallow land, though the land that's not being used, to let the cows walk on it and feed from the grass. And, well, with their manure, of course, you will fertilize the land again. So it's good for nutrition as well. So these cows can really help to maximize the output by uh, putting new nutrition nutrients into the ground, which is really good. Well, it's almost done. There it is. Perfect. Well, we set it to use fellow fields if available. So now they will. We need to put a few people in. Hay reserves less than a month. Water reserves less than a month. Well, that's for sure. We don't have any hay. It's not a mowing season. So, it's pretty easy. If you can see the resource supply, they need hay and water. I would like to put these to 500 if we can. Yes, we can. And, for instance, 
there might be a traveler coming by and you can see oh it's it's selling cows perfect go to buy cows well if you do that they're all dead in two months because you don't have any hay and we're not able to produce any hay during winter that's why I built like six of these hay dryers and two haystacks because they have to be completely filled because we need a lot of hay to survive through the winter so maybe you were wondering like why did he do that well we need all that hay and well if the trader comes we're not going to buy any cows for like a few months because we can't feed them yet maybe later on we can but not right now all right if we add like a farm field here field here and maybe one here we can build an extra farm i think so i'm going to set that up and we'll have to see exactly how we can do it yeah put it somewhere like there all right we need a few more houses we need a few more people coming in we have four women looking for a job two open vacancies for men which is also nice well they are hiring so yeah perfect Well, that's all looking good. Should be hiring as well. Should get a counselor. That means we can manage seasonal hiring. Not going to do that yet, but what it means is if you check this one, well, I'll show you first. Here are the hire options. You can say, well, you can hire men or women or just women or whatever. I'd like to use as work as only women because men can only do so many or women can only do so many jobs and they can work on the farm which is good so I'd like to set that always to just only women um, but if you click the seasonal hiring button you can now tell them which months are on season which ones are off season and you can tell them how many people you want to hire on and off season so for instance I'll slow down a little bit we have to check this one See, this one is offering cows, but we don't have any hay, and we're not going. We cannot buy any hay, so yeah, we're not going to buy the cows yet. It's good to know that Balaika, or Balaklia, uh, that's probably not how you have to pronounce it, but that's fine. They have cows, so if we want cows, we can just send a messenger there, or wait for the messenger to come again. But we were talking about the farms, and well. For instance, the farm workers are useless during the winter months. So we could say that during like December, January, February, they won't be at the farm. They can do other jobs. Now, right now we don't need that, so that's not a priority. But for instance, the thatchery, we can set the, say, the, for instance, that in September and August or something, that only two people will work there and the other two can be hired as laborers to work on the farm so if you have a shortage in people to bring in all the farm goods that's the thing you can use to uh, increase the number of laborers available for a few months and after that these buildings will be hiring again so they can just go there and work there it's an interesting method I think they have to put a little bit more work into it because you can only say it for an entire month and that's a bit long sometimes but yeah it's it's a good thing it's nice we don't need it but Probably in the future we will, and then I will show you exactly how it works. Right, we still have enough iron to make all these tools and nails, which is good. We have plenty, so I'll speed up again. Cow shit still very looking very good. Really like the snow. They really worked on that, so even the hay dryers are covered in white, and everything just looks really good with the snow. In the meantime, they're building houses like crazy, which is a good thing. This family still has to come in, and they're already laying the foundations for the next house. So that's good. This guy started building, he's probably tired now, so he has to rest. No more people coming in, or just walking there, I don't know. I guess we can build a few more benches. People to sit on and relax, so we'll put them up right here. I really like that. They don't have to walk far from their house to find a place to relax. Which is good. All the time you can save people not walking needless distances. It's time you can put them to work. 
I think that's really good in this game, that you can actually work on time they spend. So if they all have to go to like one central place to rest, they have to go through the house first, then they think I want to rest, then they go to the bench, then they have to walk back. It's all spend time. So I like it this way. You can just put a bench in front of their house, they will go and sit and rest there. And they'll be ready for work a lot quicker. Right, they're building the second farm. Hopefully they do that in time so we can set up the fields and put it to good use the new season. Yet again, a new family settling in town with an elder guy, so probably we'll build a few graves soon. I'll show you that in a few minutes or maybe the next episode, I'm not sure. First, let's see, can they finish this farm on time? What I want to do is get another cart parking. Because we need a few extra carts, we don't have enough. I'm going to put it right there. That's why it's taking so long for all the resources to get there, because they have to pick up the cart, get some goods. Once they do like one run, they have to rest. Everyone, someone else has to get the cart. If we have more carts, they can bring in the goods faster, which is a good thing. I really like that. Now I think end of February is usually when the snow starts to fade, or maybe beginning of March. So let's hope they can finish this now, because then we can actually get the fields in. As you can see, the ice is already melting, so yes, yeah, summer is coming, or at least spring. There comes the green fields. So I think as soon as they finish this, I'm going to pause the game and then put up the fields so we don't lose any time. Well, they're almost done, which is a good thing. These guys will probably stop working. Yeah, they will. So we'll wait. As soon as it's done, I'll pause the game. Last resources being brought. Come on, finish the building. Yes, that's it. Perfect. Well, let's keep time walking a little bit because we need to hire. Well, we'll add the fields first, no problem. I guess we need to add these fields a bit higher than the other ones. Too long already. Well, that's quite long then. Alright, how can we do this? Well, this seems like a pretty decent sized field. Let's get another one. Something like that. Yep, that's a good field as well. Let's add a third field somewhere here, I guess. Well, no, that's too, too much. Well, this will be a little smaller, but I think it's still fine. Oh yeah, this is still fine. Perfect. Now we have three fields. Now we have to think about what goods we want to produce. The thing is, you can only set the three-way system if you have people there. Probably everyone is being hired. Yeah, they're all hired as laborers. So what I can do... I can't make them go away yet. Well, we have to do it like this. We are already producing wheat and buckwheat, and I would really like to get some sunflower going, but we have to combine that with hemp or buckwheat again. Well, that is a good option. Well, we're going to do potato and wheat. So, potato, wheat and fallow. And then, as soon as we can use the rotation system, and we have a manager, I will fill in the rest. So this is it. Let's set it to speed 2. Perhaps we can tell someone not to go to work here. No, we can't. Alright. Well, I think we can do it like this. Yep, there we are. Alright, so let's add a few fields. We have potato, wheat, nothing. Wheat, nothing, potato. Nothing, potato, and wheat. Perfect. Well, that's the system we want. They're still hiring men, which is something I don't want. So I'm going to the hiring options, only hire men, women as workers. Now I'm going to apply this to all. The men will stay there, so after sowing season I will fire them and then they will only hire women. But that's a good thing, so for now this is good. Well, they've been s growing. This is done. So this is growing now. They're sowing this now, which is very good. 
Let's hope they can keep doing that. Let's do speed three. Come on. Well, this is also a place I don't want the men to go to work to, and we need extra workers. So yeah, I fire a few here and there. They can be hired at other places, and later on we will put them to good use again. Now the sewing is going much quicker. Yep, this is good. Now don't get too worried if it takes a little bit of extra time to do all the sewing. It's fine, you can deal with that, no problem. We have two working farms already, so we will be producing quite a lot of food. So don't worry about that. It's probably time for me, if we look at this, yeah, we have a lot of wheat in stock, so I could probably already get an extra meal, which makes sure that we get plenty of food. Well, all the sewing appears to be almost done, so we can fill out these positions again. And make sure that once they get off duty from laborers, then they will go there. They'll all be fine. Alright, let's get the men out of there. And just hire women. That's it, perfect. Well, we don't have too many unemployed people, which is good. I like it that way. And yeah, I think we should get an extra meal. Windmill to make sure that we supply enough flour. And one thing we really need is a granary. A place that will make sure that all the goods we have are properly stocked and that they can be served to all the people. So I'm going to build a granary right here, I guess. I think that's a nice place, close to the farms. And once it's done, set it up something like this. Once that's done, we can have all the flour and weed and buckwheat etc. stored at one place so we can really see how much we have of everything. And as far as I know right now you can set the limits yourself which is really nice. You can just say well store 10,000 weed and they will. And if you say well only store a thousand then they will do that. So you really have a say in what's happening. Alright, no housing available. Well, there will be soon, so no worries there. Still not mowing season, as you can see, so we still have to wait with the cows. And I can tell you, I'm not going to buy like 20 cows at one time. Probably try to buy like 10 cows and a bull. Give them time to start to produce extra cows. But not just yet. I really want the milk. So we're starting to produce potatoes. Probably should create a selling point for potatoes. So as soon as we harvest them, we can actually sell them. Which means we provide three types of food now, which is a very good thing. With the cows, we can also provide milk. And I think next thing up will be like fish. So we provide them with plenty of food. All sorts of food, which is good. That makes them really happy. And yeah, that, that looks really good. No jobs available. Well, that's interesting. Ah, nice. We can sell some charcoal, which will get us a lot of money. Which means we can buy a few cows. Now, we still don't have any hay. So I can't buy cows yet, which is a bit unfortunate. Because I really want to buy cows. So I guess we have to wait with that, but that's fine. So the granary is being built. It's going pretty fast. I'm going to wait till it's done. I'm going to set it up and that'll probably be the end of this episode. Every now and then you see this little like pizza over their heads. That means they don't have enough variety of food. But that's where, well, for instance, the potatoes will come in, but also the milk. That will ensure that everyone has plenty of food and a variety of food. So now we have a granary, we can install workers in it. And we can just say, well, I want to store buckwheat in it. And you can set the limit yourself. So we'll set the limit to 10,000. Now, what we also want to put in is flour and the weed. So we'll set the limits. They will hire laborers, etc. to put it in. We also want to put in potatoes. That's what we have. So we're going to put in the things we have. We want to put in milk later on. I'll put the 5,000 just to show you that you can set the limits yourself. We will get fish in later on, 
Not too much, but we will. Because fishing is rather slow. Well, that's about it for now. Well, they're hiring workers and they will just start to collect everything. Now we can also resource supply, tell them that they can hire laborers and that they can use a cart. Which is good, because that means that they will use a cart to buy all, to pr move all the stuff, which goes way faster than when they have to carry it by hand. Now we told our carpenter to start working on extra carts, so then we have eight carts to just lift everything around. There's no carpenter to complete it, which is strange because we have a carpenter, but there's no one working there. Wow, that's interesting. Guess we should do it like this then, so they can work in the carpentry. Well, last thing to look at. They've mown the grass, it's now drying. After that we have hay, and then we can feed our cows. But now that I think of it, we can buy cows actually, because those cows will get to the pasture. So we'll get ten cows, one bull, that's a deal. And, well, I'm going to pause right here. So, next time up, the cows will be coming in. We can do a second harvest, which should be rather good. And in the meantime, we'll just continue developing our village, attracting new people, and see what industries we can build next. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Bye-bye.